Ten-year-old Beth Thomas was the subject of a 30-minute documentary in which she is interviewed about her life experiences, what it was like growing up, what she thinks of her parents, and she even shared some drawings. Sounds like a cute video, right? Wrong. See, Beth Thomas is not just any ordinary child. Beth Thomas, dubbed the child of rage, is a borderline sociopath with a growing desire to physically harm others. Filmed in Mary Hill Elementary School of Vancouver, Canada, the documentary explores what tragedies in her life have turned what could have been a sweet, innocent child into an emotionless, cold-hearted sadist. In the video, Beth talks about how she abuses her brother, sticks needles into the family dog, and how she wishes she could kill her parents. After the interviewer establishes how Beth feels about those around her and those who love her, the interviewer continues on with a different line of questions by asking her about her upbringing before she was brought into foster care. It is discovered that both Beth's mother and father were physically, mentally, and sexually abusive toward her. Due to the abusive and non-nurturing nature of her parents, Beth was never given a chance to learn how normal humans emote. Somehow against all odds, and with the help of Beth's new adoptive parents and many therapists, she was able to make a full recovery to a healthy state of mind. Now as an adult, Beth works as a successful registered nurse in Colorado. She even set up a charity for children who were abused. As unsettling as the video can be, this one sure takes the cake. The video features a worse-for-wear robotic stripper dancing up against a mirror. The robot is dressed in white lingerie while wearing a dark, goblin-like mask and appears to have been dragged behind a car. Or at least that's what it looks like since its whole body is covered in dirt and grime. The stripper dances rhythmically to a loud Katy Perry movie. What makes the video so unsettling is that the robot is programmed to look directly into the eyes of anyone watching during its performance. Midway through the video, the music cuts out, and at that point we find out that the stripper robot is actually whispering a long, barely understandable run-on sentence, all while dancing its robotic heart out. On February 9, 2012, a video was uploaded to YouTube by a user named 112Dirtbag that became international news. At first glance, the video appears to be just some old creepy man alone in a dingy basement laughing at the camera. So why did nearly every international news agency think this video was such a big deal? Because the video is titled Happy Anniversary, and the day it was uploaded, February 9th, 2012, marks the one-year anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of nursing student Mara Murray. After Mara Murray went missing, her father had spent that year telling the news, telling everyone that he strongly believed his daughter was the subject of a kidnapping. The father claimed his daughter's abduction occurred on Route 112, and he was famous for calling the kidnapper a dirtbag. Once all eyes were on the mysterious man who owned the channel 112 Dirtbag, he took the video down. Fortunately, a blog dedicated to the disappearance of Maura Murray was smart enough to have the foresight to save the video, and they re-hosted it on their site. The next day, 112 Dirtbag uploaded a new video. This video was a slideshow featuring photos of a five-year-old boy. That boy was the son of James Renner, who was also the owner of the blog. Found deep into YouTube, a Russian man creates a series of videos documenting his disturbing attempts to successfully create a homunculus. A homunculus is a very small or miniature humanoid-like creature, often created through artificial means. A homunculus is a rational animal and a supposed microscopic but fully formed human being. The Russian YouTuber attempts to create a homunculus by using a method that involves a chicken egg, human sperm, and bandages. He starts the process by cutting a tiny hole into the shell of the egg, sticking a syringe filled with his own semen into the egg yolk, and injecting the semen into the yolk. Finally, he puts the bandage over the hole and waits. His hope is that the semen and the egg will mix and create a living creature. What comes out of the eggs after a few weeks is nothing but disturbing. In the first video, after waiting 10 days, the man cracks the egg and dumps the contents into a plastic bowl. Out of the murky goop, he manages to pull out a disturbing, semi-assembled, possibly alive creature. On closer inspection, we can see that one of the extended arms slowly curls up on its own. Whether or not the creature was actually alive is debatable. In the second video, again after another initial waiting period, the man cracks open a newly incubated egg into a plastic container. This time, what the man pulls out of the 
murky egg appears to be somewhat sentient. For a few moments, the creature observes its surroundings before finally landing its gaze on the Russian. The creature then shoots a clear liquid into the face of the man, causing him to react violently and crushing it with a large book. In the third and final video, the man tries once more to create a homunculus. This time, he inseminates over 20 different chicken eggs. Dressed in a full hazmat suit, he opens each egg one by one, only to find out that each produced nothing. And thankfully so. What starts off as a relatively cute video of a man performing an operation on a teddy bear takes a quick and dark turn. The video starts off with a man wearing surgical gloves as he prepares to cut open a stuffed teddy bear, while the narrator with an extra friendly voice explains the procedure. During the so-called operation, the teddy has his chest cut open with a set of garden shears. After the surgeon goes through a few layers filled with candy and sprinkles, he pulls back a final layer to reveal actual internal organs. All the organs have been modified in some way or another to have figurines or crayons shoved inside them. The doctor takes out each organ and forcefully removes the crayons and figurines, only to replace them with different crayons or figurines, which the narrator tells us makes that teddy happy. After fixing the teddy bear, the surgeon puts everything back and sews the bear shut, bringing an end to what could have been a cute video. In 2013, 18 days after she was reported missing by her parents, the body of Eliza Lamb was found floating inside an 8x10 water tower located on the roof of the Los Angeles-based Hotel Cecil. Police concluded that Eliza Lamb's death was an accident. They believed that days prior to her death, Eliza had stopped taking the medicine that helped control her bipolar disorder, building up to an eventual mental breakdown that led her into the water tower. The working theory the police have is that when she entered the water tower, it was full, but as time went on, many guests used water, causing the water level in the tower to lower to a point where Eliza could no longer reach the tower door, and she drowned. However, controversy was shrouded around her death after a four-minute video of Eliza Lamb's final moments inside an elevator was uploaded to YouTube. The security footage shows Eliza hurriedly entering the elevator, then repeatedly looking outside as if someone was chasing her. She then re-enters the elevator, presses some buttons, and exits the elevator again. While in the hallway, she appears to be speaking to someone before leaving the frame. The final 30 seconds of the video feature nothing more than the elevator opening and closing. Because of this video and Eliza Lamb's peculiar behavior in it, many theories began to pop up. The two most popular theories are that Eliza was being followed home late at night, causing her to act erratic and scared. Later, the man who followed her drowned her in the water tower. The second and much less believable theory is that a ghost was haunting her. The ghost possessed her body, led her to the roof, and killed her. Of course, you're free to choose your own theory to believe. Thank you. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And leave a comment what you think.